everybody. How is everybody doing? Um, welcome to the February edition of Greatest Dreamers Team Meeting. Welcome to a brand new catalog season. It's a new month. It's a new season. Um, I just love new. And y'all, new is every day. Whether it's the first of the month, it's first day of the week, it doesn't matter. Every day, every minute, every, every, any, any time you decide to make it a new, new dawning, you can do that. And I love that about life, that we can start fresh anytime we need to. And I really need to start fresh this week. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Heather Pratt. I am the director of The Greatest Dreamers. Um, if you are seeing this, you are most likely in my downline in my group or invited here um, by as a member of this wonderful team. And we're super excited to have you here. Um, I want to start off tonight by saying uh, thank you for being fun and flexible again. Uh, I am currently sitting at a basketball game in Fayetteville um, or in the car driving home from said basketball games. Um, and could not be with you live. It makes me super sad to not be interacting with you, um, reading your comments, and actually have some back and forth on our topic tonight. But um, as it goes, and as I tell a lot of you, a lot of the time, family first. Um, but I also want to stay consistent with our meeting time. It's always the first Thursday of the month at 730. You can write that in your calendar from now, every month through the end of 2020. Um, I try really, really hard to be consistent with that, even if it means making a recording um, and asking you to pop over on YouTube and watch it instead of seeing me live. And I appreciate you being fun and flexible in doing that. Um, I also want to thank you guys. I uh, apologize again for being a little bit out um, MIA this week, as I told you on the uh, group page last night. If you missed it, this will be news to you. But um, I fell and hit my head on Sunday. I've had concussion symptoms pretty much all week, started Monday morning. Um, so I have been taking it really easy. And y'all, let me tell you, it's been a really weird, interesting experience. And I'm super sad because the thing that bothered me the most was the computer. So I have not worked like at all. I'm so excited about this new catalog. And I haven't, I just have not felt like doing a dang thing with it and it is a short month, so I've got to get busy. Um, thank you for those of you who reached out. Thank you for the comments. Uh, I really appreciated it. I know we have great leaders in here and there is still conversation going on on our um, group page and that's fantastic. That's what I love about this group. Even when I'm gone, y'all still take care of business, but it, it pained me to not be around this week. And I know I'm behind on some things, um, January shout outs, January numbers, all of that stuff. Um, I am feeling tremendously better today, but unfortunately it's a short day. I had PTO meeting this morning, then immediately after PTO, I had Acacia Cabinets um, meeting with Joseph and literally we just wrapped up so we could grab a bike to eat and he could go pick Riley up from school. And as soon as he gets done with that, we're off to this basketball game. So um, tomorrow is going to be um, zeroed in, focused on, really focused on getting done what should have already been done this week because I'm going out of town this weekend. Yeah, the timing was just impeccable. So bear with me. It might be a little bit later. Um, it's later than usual. It may even be next week before I'm really back on the rails because um, I don't want to overdo it because that would be bad as well. All right, let's get started. First up, or second up, I guess I should say, shout out. So I want to give a huge shout out to Amy Bunch. She is already over 500 PRV for the month of February. Way to work that new catalog, girlfriend. Woo! -woo! I wish I had an air horn or something fun. I should have grabbed something. I'm sure the kids have something laying around if I looked really hard. Also, want to give a double shout out to Miss Morgan Pierce. Um, not only is she already active for the month of February, but she also crossed her 30,000 lifetime sales mark earlier this week. That is a tremendous accomplishment. I believe Morgan celebrates her uh, third anniversary next month. I could be wrong. Um, third or fourth? I think it's third. You know, time flies when you have busy kids and you're old. Um, time flies, but yay, Morgan. Way to go, Morgan and Amy. Um, fantastic start to this new catalog season. Um, so let's jump 
right into that since that is the topic for tonight is how to work your business with the new catalog. Um, making myself a note. So I don't forget, this is something I, I need to do on the regular even more when my brain's fuzzy. All right, so new catalog launched on February 1st. Yes, hopefully you all know that. Um, if you have not gotten your hands on a product training guide, take two. If you do not have or have not looked at the product training guide, there we go. Um, I highly recommend that you grab this and look at it. We talked about it in the fall. This comes out with every new catalog season. Um, some seasons it's more important than others. And this is one of those seasons. We've got a couple of brand new products. Um, and I wanna make sure you guys know the great benefits of those um, and know the details, know all about them. If you do not wanna buy, it's only $2 in the success store. If you've got a party order going in, throw it in there so you can have reduced or free shipping depending on the size of your party. Um, I, I like having the thing in my hand. I like being able to grab it off the shelf and keep it handy. Um, and it's two bucks. But if you don't want to wait for it and you want to read it now, you can go to the um, Sensi Success tab and search product training guide and it will come up. It's a PDF version. Um, you can download it. So, I mean, it doesn't have to cost you anything. And there's even sales tips on the back. There are sales tips for each, usually for each type of product. It covers everything. Here's a section on our kids line. Um, on the ghost unplugged so it, it ties right in with how everything is um, listed now on our work on our websites so if you haven't been to your own website lately you might want to go check it out because it's laid out a little bit differently um, instead of being called on the go it's unplugged which is really cute um, stuff all about pods so there's that mini fan diffuser that you probably want to learn about and there's sales tips for that, stuff about our oils, um, the new deluxe fan. This thing has some super amazing benefits. Over this one minute half the price. Just saying. Um, anyway, so go read that. Go read it. It's awesome. Love, love, love. Mm one of the best tools we have available as a consultant because a knowledgeable consultant who can help his or her customers is always going to be beneficial being able to have those quick answers um it can be so impressive to your customers and whoever you're talking who's like oh well they really know their business they know what they're talking about i'm going to buy from them because i can trust them remember people buy from who they know like and trust um, the other thing, I really just want to talk about the catalog for a hot minute. This is for real. One of the most beautiful catalogs I've ever looked at. It's so on trend. I mean, the cover alone, you guys, if you're on social media other than Facebook, particularly on like Instagram or Pinterest, y'all, it's set up just like Instagram. This is not an accident. This is on trend stuff the stuff of legends going on here um what's inside is on trend i mean i'm just i'm blown away i think i told you this before but i did the scroll through the p the uh, pdf and i'm joseph walked in the door and i said i'm ready to sell every warmer we own and buy all new ones and he laughed at me he said is it that good i said um, the clean lines, the colors, the cause warmer. I mean, y'all. I mean, even the stuff inside. There's a photo grid with Heidi and Orville. There's a photo grid of you belong here. I mean, it's so on trend. You guys love this catalog. If you don't have a catalog, shame on you. Um, you should order one. Um, you can, or if you are choosing to use product lists or showcase brochures for handing out to people, 100% get it, 100%. It's the cheaper, 
economical way to do things. But I still do encourage you to get one of these. They're like a dollar. Again, throw it into a party order as soon as you can to have this on your in your hands. I mean, best $3 investment of your selling season right here. I'm just telling you. Um, but get your catalog because this is your bread and butter. This catalog right here, this is your bread and butter. This will be your money maker. This is your financial freedom. Whatever alliteration combos I could come up with about making money, it's in here. The LTOs, the limited time offers, this stuff. It's great, it's fun. It gives you an opportunity, a reason to reach out to your customers. But you know what? The, the greatest percentage of your customers are probably gonna say no to a limited time offer. But just in saying, hey, do you like this? Hey, do you need it? It reminds them that you're the Scentsy gal. And they might have said, no, I don't need that, but I could use some bulbs. Or I don't need that, but I need some wax. It just keeps, it, it keeps you in their mind so they don't forget what you do and, who you, and what you represent, okay? That's really what the LTO is about. It's about business building, excuse to reach out to your customer because sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you don't want to just ask them again for the fourth time this year, do you wanna buy wax? Or do you wanna buy a warmer? Or do you need a refresh? Sometimes it's, just, it's good to just say, hey, did you see this new thing that's coming out? That's really what those are for. Um, and you're probably gonna get more no's than yeses, and that's okay. The LTOs, are the, they're the icing on the cake. They are the extra, you know, they're the foam on top of your coffee. I, I'm all about it, y'all, stop me. Um, but the catalog is where your bread and butter is going to be. So do not forget about this amazingness while you wait on the next LTO. Focus your business right here for the next six months. This is your business until the end of July. Okay. Um, so what does that mean? How do, how do I use that catalog? And again, just like the product training guide, if you don't have one, you don't have a party yet. You're like, well, well, I'm just going to wait until I have a party order and then I'll order those things and I'll work my business then. No, no, no. There's a PDF in the Sensi Success tab, area, section, whatever you want to call it. Go download it. Look at it. I want everybody in this group to have looked over every single page in depth before the weekend is over. And as you're going through it, I want you to look at every product page. So product page. And I want you to start with page seven. I want you to read the words in here. This is your homework. I want you to read about Heidi and Orville. They're amazing people. Read about them. Okay, there's not much to read on the table of contents. You can skip that page. Those pages. So, I want you to read about then and now. I want you to respect where we started. I have walked through this shipping container. It exists. It's still sitting on the sheep farm in Meridian, Idaho. It's a super cool, humbling, amazing, Oh my gosh, how did we come from this to this? When you go to boot camp, you're spending most of your time here at this $14 million campus. And you're having this, I mean, it's this great experience of shipping and all of the stuff, the building and it smells good and the lights and the giant buddies and all of the things. And in the middle of all this awesome, you go here and you see where it all started. And you're like, oh my gosh, they started at the bottom at zero, just like I did. So they went from here to here. Why can't I go from here to here? It's an amazing experience. So read the then and now. And then um, by this point, you need to have some pen and paper next to you. And I want you to start with page seven. And I want you to make a list of who you think might either love that gorgeous warmer or want to support Shriners Hospital or both. 
And I want you to be real specific about it because everybody wants to help to support the children's charities. Let's hope they do. But do you know somebody that has a Shriners connection? Maybe they bought the last Sh Shriners warmer from us. Maybe you want to ask them if they want a new one. Um, maybe they don't. That's fine. Maybe you just know they're going to love that warmer and that's what you're going to reach out to. And so make a list. Who's going to love that warmer? Okay. And then when you get done with page seven, I want you to remember you do belong here. Read the words. That's your homework. I'm not going to read them because I get teary eyed. Read about whiff boxes. This is on page 10. Read about the whiff box. Make a list of people you know who get the Fab Fit Fun Box, who get Birch Box, who get Ipsy, who get any of those kind of things. Or somebody who you think would like Scentsy but doesn't know where to start. Make a list of five to ten people you're going to reach out to to see if they want to order a Whiff Box. Even better, um, one of the new things kind of going around is doing a Whiff Box fundraiser. And roughly, the math turns into 10 people selling 10 whiff boxes, I think at $35 a piece. Um, and it can make $1,000. I'm still working to get the math from Christina Stainbrook, so I can share the details of that probably in a unit. Um, but if you're really hyper interested in it, let me know so I can make sure you get tagged when I do post it. But make a list, five to ten, either entities that might be interested in the fundraiser or people who would love a whiff box. I'm going to give you a little spoiler about this month's just because I think it's important to know so that if anybody approaches you about buying the mini fan diffuser, the little teeny one, it's in here. So for if they're willing to spend $25 to get the mini fan and a pack of pods, upsell them to the whiff box so they get some more product, okay? I don't know what else is in there, and I apologize if I just really, really spoiled something for somebody. I'm sorry, but I think that's a really important upsell opportunity. Not only is it a good upsell opportunity for this month, but that's a potential customer for whatever else is in that box. And it's a reason to follow up with them and say, hey, I don't know what's in the box, what was in the box, okay? So make you a list of people for the whiff box. Whoever is approaching you about getting the mini fan diffuser, upsell them, okay? All right, next up, go to the Cincy Club page. Think of five to 10 people. Who are your best customers? Who particularly uses the laundry, the clean line? Suggest Cincy Club to them, okay? And this may be one of those things that you table until J July. So before the spring, summer stuff, disappears and I don't like telling you all the table stuff because you're going to forget but keep really diligent notes about who buys what scents for the next six months so that whoever is buying spring summer things that are going to go away the end of July you can suggest Scentsy Club to them when that rolls around okay because they can do always get my bar and they can keep getting that Amazing Johnny Appleseed. I don't know that that's discontinuing. I'm throwing words out there. I shouldn't, but okay. So make a list of people, potential customers that would be good for getting Cincy Club. If you have customers who um, live far away, you have people who want to support your business, but they don't live close by. Club is great for them. And then they're giving you continuous PRB. So it's not just the one time direct ship or the one time order from your PWS. It's the consistent thing which is always good. All right, and then starting with page 12, and then I'm gonna stop boring y'all. I want you to go through every page from here until you get to sense. Just every product page from this page forward, I want you to look at it, I want you to study it, and I want you to give a good minute to two minute thought about each warmer, each product on the page. Retro, do I know anybody who might like retro? Hmm, cured and cured cement, that's kind of cool. I don't know if I know anybody that would like that one, but that's really cool that it's cured cement. 
I'm going to put that on my social media because it's just a neat way to make a warmer. If you know somebody who's going to like it, write it down. Boho, who do I know that loves dream catchers? Write it down. Succulents, write it down. Every, every warmer, every product on the page, make a list of who might be interested. Okay, and you're going to do that every page. Uh, uh, there's, look, are you seeing, you can't even see me flipping. Okay. So one, two, can you see that? That's two, three, four, five. God, it's great. Warmer is my favorite. Six. Oh, I'm pretty fond of that butterfly too. And the pugs. There are so many pug lovers out there, y'all. Seven. All right. Seven pages of warmers. How many names can you come up with in seven pages of warmers? That's a lot of pages of warmers, y'all. <coughs> then you're going to get to the scents, and I kind of want you to do the same thing. So when you get here, new releases. Who needs to know about the new releases? Who needs to smell the new releases? What new releases are going to appeal to people? There's a, you know, who loves to smell a peach? and make this list, okay? Then hit it up, see what's the best seller, see what came back if you don't already know. You know, kind of make a list on the scents. Then you're getting to the Disney. This isn't anything new, but maybe you haven't done this before. Who do you know who loves Disney? Who's bought one of these who might like one of these now or vice versa? Who's bought the buddies and might like the warmer? Pay attention to your Facebook feeds to see who goes to Disney World or Disneyland. When they get back, say, oh my gosh, you look like you had an amazing trip. I couldn't help but think about our warmers. Wouldn't this be a great way to remember your trip? You could even get vinyl and cut it out and put the date of your trip on the side of the warmer. Wouldn't that be cool? That's a reference to a movie. Bambi, who loves Bambi? Who loves L Lion King? Dumbo? Spider-Man. Make a list. Make a list. Ooh, I'm hurrying. I'm not. Why is that sticking together? Um, then you get the kid stuff. If you've never done it before, I don't think anything. Oh. Can you check that ding on my phone to see if it was Susan or bring me my phone? Oh, never mind. My phone's here. Pause. It wasn't me. Never mind. Um, I don't know if I can play it at 430 or not. Um, so the sloth, there's all kinds of crazy sloth people. Amy said the sloth is super cute. Did you see this thing hanging in her car? Oh my gosh. It's so adorable. How many of your friends have ballet kids? Write it down. Message them. Who loves dogs and cats? Who loves unicorns? Write it down. Send them a message. Who's having a baby? You don't even have to write that one down. Just gift it to them. Say, I heard just having a baby. Here. I know a couple people having babies and they need one of those. Like for real, I feel like I need to write that down because I'm going to forget later. <laughs> um, anyway, moving on. Fragrance flowers. Super fun thing to do with the flowers. Have a, a sip and color night. So get out your favorite beverages. They buy the flowers. You provide the permanent markers and you'll have fun. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Not about the sales pitch. You have catalogs available. You're making sure your home smells amazing but you don't even put up a display. You might have testers available where they could grab it real quick. Just, you know, just, just leave it laying somewhere, but make it all about color and color and sniff party. Girls night out, color party. All of these things, none of these are new. And when you're talking about the warmers that I'm talking about previously on your homework, don't focus on just the new stuff. 
If you've never done this kind of thing before, any of it goes. So any warmer on that page, write it down, okay? I haven't told you what to do with it yet, so hang on. Um, this thing is amazing. It is not the most gorgeous thing in the world. It's not ugly, but it's really super cool. Read about it. I'm not gonna give you the details, but read about it. So make sure you write down any of your oily friends, you write down anybody who ever said they wanted one of our diffusers, but didn't wanna pay that. These are half the price of the regular diffusers. They can host or they can gather orders. They don't have to have use two half price rewards. They can just use one and get it for half of that, half of this price. So, and it's, it's amazing. I can't wait to get one. Um, so read about it. So there's that. So you've got this list. Again, oily friends. And you may start here, hit them up with this. And if they don't like the price of this, then you backtrack to the deluxe. Totally a good idea. And then if you have people that already have diffusers, share the oils. If you have oily friends, you know, ask them. You know, do you usually dif just diffuse or are you using topically? Whatever. Did you know we have oils too? They're pretty cool. Okay, and now we got to the mini fan. These are being super popular, hot off the presses. Um, again, I'm sorry to be a spoiler, but I think it's really important. It's a wonderful opportunity for an upsell if somebody is spending 25 for one of these in a pack of pods to upsell them to that whiff box. The only thing is they're not gonna get to pick their color. No. So if they're just wishy-washy about the color, definitely upsell them. Or if they don't, or if, even if they give you a color and you're like, well, if you're not real picky on the color, you might be interested in this whiff box. Um, of course, we've got the goes, we've got these. I put one of these in my bathroom. We've got a weird situation going on in our bathroom. So my warmer was up, but I couldn't hang up my towel too because I don't want my towel hanging on my warmer. So I moved my wall fan in there. Ah, oh, it smells so good. And I'm only using one pod. Problem solved. I love when Cincy solves my problems. Um, and then we get to the laundry line. What new scents do we have? Are there any? I should already know this. Oh yeah, pink cotton. Oh, this is a clean line. Oh, it's both, Never mind. Fuzzy brain, I told you. So there's things in there. Always, 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 I love this stuff. Clean line, laundry line. That's kind of weird. I never noticed that Cincy Fresh was listed with the laundry stuff. How did I not ever notice that? Shame on me. But Cincy Fresh is now available in clothesline, lavender cotton, and now we have pink cotton in the laundry line as well. So maybe that's something you want to hit people up about. Um, not a whole lot of new in the clean section, but we do have the Johnny Appleseed scent. I am hearing that is completely amazing as a cleaning scent, and now I want it. I hate that FOMO thing. Hate it. Um, I am loving that Now and Zen is in the bath soaks. Um, we also added, there was another scent I was excited about. Oh, Prickly Pear and Agave, Now and Zen. I thought there was another one. But we do have Luna in those two in the fragrance mist. There are lots and lots of Luna lunatics out there. Hit them up about the fragrance mist. They might want to smell like their favorite scent. Just saying. And then pets. Who do you know who has pets? So all of these pages, you're writing down people who might be interested in these things. Even if it's not new. Who has pets? So many people have pets. Don't tell me you don't know people with pets. All right. So now that you have this monstrous list of people who would be interested in something in your bread and butter tool for business, 
I want you to contact no less than five people, five people per day. I'm trying to decide how hard to make this. Six, five days a week from now until the end of the month. If you want extra credit, make it six or seven. Just five people, no less than five people a day. If you want extra credit, go 10. Until you get to the bottom of that list. Don't tell me you don't know people who aren't gonna like it. I don't want you looking at price points. I don't want you thinking about price points. None of that matters. Because all you're doing, you're not saying, hey, do you wanna buy this? You're gonna go to the marketing tab or gonna go, excuse me, Cincy Success Marketing, you're gonna pull up an image of whatever it is or they are, because maybe there's multiple things in here that Aunt Jenny or customer Susie or whatever would be interested in. And you're gonna say, depending on how big that list is for them, if it's a really big list for them, you're gonna be like, Susie? I've been looking at this new catalog and I think there are a lot of things in here that you're going to like. Can I send you a link to, I would get a flip catalog, an e-zine. If you need that link, I can get it. Let me know. Take a flip through this and make sure you look at this and you list it out. You tell her what all you think she's going to like. I think we need to put together somehow, some way for you to get this, some of this stuff for free and half price, don't you? that easy. Pugs. You know somebody who loves pugs? Oh my goodness, Jane, have you seen this new pug warmer? How cute is this? You're not asking for a sale. You're just telling me there's something cute. If they come back and say, oh my gosh, I need that. Great. If they say that is super cute and they don't say anything else, that's okay too. It's okay to hear no's. I want you to hear some no's. All right, and you're going to do that with everybody on that list at least five a day. And you're going to amaze yourself with how many people who do say yes. If there's a lot that they need, figure out a way to do a party for them, okay? And it doesn't have to be a party. Don't scare them off by saying host a party. Say, hey, let's figure out how we can gather up some orders from your friends and family, whether you're doing a Facebook group, a Facebook event, you're gonna do a catalog party, you're gonna do an in hand something, maybe you're gonna color flowers together and have it available. Um, maybe you're gonna do a fundraiser. Don't, don't, don't sweat the party word. People freak at the party word. Just say, I wanna help you get this for free and half price. Where are most of the people that you know? Are they at work? You wanna borrow some catalogs and order forms? And maybe some of my testers? Okay, let's go that route. Oh, we're scattered out across the country. Let's do you a Facebook event. Okay. If you need help with your wording, reach out to me or reach out to your sponsor or whatever. Okay. That's what I want you to do. And you know what? It may take you more than February. I hope the list you have is so big that it takes you two or three months to get through all of it. Okay. I mean, I really want you to have that big of a list. And once you get orders and you start doing the follow-up, you're going to be amazed at how it just takes off and it rolls like a train and it just, it works. The engine starts working the way that it should. All right. So that was a whole lot of catalog walkthrough. <coughs> but I think one of the things I forget is that some of you think the only thing you have to do is hand one of these to somebody or hand a stuff to somebody. Be more specific than that. The more specific you can be, you're saving them time, you're saving them effort. And sometimes it's just like, maybe it's just as simple as, oh, I saw this or I smelled this or whatever and I thought of you. I remember when you had chickens with that new little chicken warmer. If you've been around a long time and you have customers who ordered Hokey Pokey, hit them up in a nice way. <laughs> when I say hit them up, I am not saying, hey, you need to order this to go with your Hokey Pokey. No. 
You say, oh my gosh, look, we've got a little chick. It reminds me of when you bought Hokey Pokey. Or not. Or something along those lines. Whatever. You know why they bought it or when they bought it or all of that. Sometimes just saying, this made me think of you. And maybe you're just bringing a smile to their face and that's what you were meant to do that day. And it's going to pay you down the road and you don't even know when. Okay? Don't focus so much on the sales. Just focus on letting people know that you're thinking about them, that you're being real specific. They don't have to know you're being specific. You know you're being specific. Because, friends, these things may not ever get cracked open by just handing them out. Am I going to hand them out? Of course. Am I going to drop them into every order I deliver from all the orders I got at the end of January? You bet. Am I dropping a bunch of these of the product sheets in stuff for this month? You bet. I am. But I'm also going to do a catalog walkthrough just like I talked about, and I'm making a big old long list of people that I think would be interested in stuff that's in there or people I could gift something to in there. That's what this is. That's a high touch business. That's not just a passive business, which brings me to another point. You can plan to do, you can intend to do a million things that are amazing, that are business building, that are going to make you a million dollars. But until you actually act, until you do something more than plan, more than intend, you're not going to get anywhere. You can write out all the names on the planet, but if you never actually pick up the phone and reach out to those people, you're not getting anything. The answer is always no if you don't ask. And I'm not asking you, I'm not asking you to take a whole lot of time away from anything. I'm saying minimum five people a day. If you have really big, larger goals, then you need to do larger numbers. But if you're comfortable in the 200 to 300 realm, five a day should do it. Okay? And that's between you and your goals. But until you take the action, nothing is going to happen. Don't be afraid. The end of the world will not come if the answer is no. You just move on to the next person. You don't wait for the answer before you move on to the next person. You send out a block and you're going to get some yeses and you're not even going to think about those no's. I can't tell you how many text messages I sent the last week of January. I'm not focusing in the least on the people that didn't respond or the no's. And you know what? I sent messages on the 30th and 31st that I didn't get responses on until the first, second, and third. I was still getting sales through the third off of messages I sent the 29th, 30th, and 31st. So I may not always be immediate either. But I know y'all probably don't have 600 people to talk to. Maybe you do. I hope you do. You probably do if you really look. How many friends do you have on Facebook? Anyway, planning's not going to count. You got to do the action. Um, that's the bread and butter of this meeting. Um, I do want to do one quick thing. Houses, we did our house sorting. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go back to the Facebook group, scroll through, see what's going on. Um, you were invited to a um, house, please go accept that invitation. Um, you were tagged on something. I mean, there, you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you missed a whole lot of what went on the end of last week, I'm just saying. And I don't want to recap all of it, but I do know that when I checked earlier this week on the house events, um, there wasn't a whole lot of accepted invitations. Um, house points will start posting um, Tomorrow, um, Morgan and Amy have garnered their house points. I don't know what house they're in off the top of my head. Um, obviously, Morgan is in Moe Wane. Is that right? Moe Uhane. That's it. Moe Uhane. Um, so she has points for her house. I think Amy is in. Ashling. So those houses have points. Um, so I will be getting the point structure out as soon as I can. Um, and all of those details that I planned to do Monday, but it didn't happen. 
Um, <laughs> but anyway, if you're lost when I'm talking about this, uh, go back to last week, watch some videos, um, find out who your house mom is and all of that kind of fun stuff. Cause that's something fun we are doing for this catalog season. Um, and we're, I'm getting ready to kick it into high gear. So I think that is it. I love you all. Thank you for watching this. I'm sorry it ran a little bit longer than I intended, but I really wanted to walk you guys through. Oh, yay. Um, walk you guys through that catalog. This, I mean, that's what you do. You take the catalog, and I hope that really helps you out and helps you know um, how to work a catalog because that's how you work the catalog. Don't worry about the LTOs. I mean, I hope you work the LTOs, but don't stress so much about them because that's not where the bulk of your business is going to come from. It's going to come from this beauty right here. Um, P.S. If you are handing out catalogs or you're mailing catalogs, um, I had a brilliant, I didn't have a brilliant idea. A friend of mine had a brilliant idea. She is actually putting confetti and fun stuff. I think confetti and a little blurb about herself or blurb about the different ways to party on the party page, which is on 58 and 59. Um, just, just for fun and attention in the hopes of getting more hosts. So I thought that was really cute. And she's using like big chunky, I think they're like one inch diameter um, paper pieces and just throwing it in there. I mean, obviously not gluing it down, just kind of throwing it in there willy nilly. <laughs> um, so maybe it spills out. I don't know. She, maybe she's taping a few of them down just to make them stick. Um, I'll see if you're interested in that. I'll see if I can get the details on it. And maybe you do something similar on the join page if you're looking to build your team. Just saying. Um, but yeah, she's she's doing cute little things like that. All right, you guys have a wonderful month. If you need me, let me know. I am getting back to it. Be patient with me a little bit longer while I get caught up. Well, I love you to pieces. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later.